again, viewers. Dark Lord Kaiser playing Talos Principal. Elohim still annoyed at me for having the audacity to be in the place he has told me to go to. Okay, so I've just noticed uh, on these puzzles, it tells you what you need to be able to do these puzzles. So if I haven't unlocked the cube, it's telling me right here, you ain't going to be able to do that one. But I have unlocked the cube, and I've unlocked the tripod, so we don't need to worry about that. So, let's move on to another one. This one, he says, picking one at complete random. Going over the fence. Okay. Let's assess the puzzle. Blue laser going over a fence. I think I can see where the title of this one came from. Here we go. Uh, splashy, splashy, splash. Stop wasting time, Dark Lord. Do the thing. So, I can see a receptacle for blue over here. Stepping stones. I decided if Elohim is going to refer to me as a child, I will act like a child when it comes to things like this. Anyway. So, blue laser, blue receptacle. So. Where, if anywhere, can I connect those two together? Absolutely bloody nowhere, it would seem. From here, at least. I do like how it highlights through walls where the... Uh, where the things are. What's on top of here? So I can't connect to it from here. But if I move this to let's say Oh that laser's still pointing in there. Hmm. Let's put it here and have a look at uh So I might no. That's not the solution either. Hmm. That's a tree. That's not very helpful. Anyway, well, I'm just going to keep musing on this for a little while. So there's not many puzzle pieces, but they're well set up, so it's hard to... Hmm. I wonder. I'm just going to double-check the name of this one. Let's we'll see something. Back on out, and back on in. Okay, it's just going over the fence. I thought it was called jumping over the fence and wondered if that was part of the solution, but as I guess not. Here's a fence. I am now over this fence. I don't see what help that gave me, but I think I could have walked around that fence. I don't think it gave me any help whatsoever, but this is quite curious. Righty so... I wonder if I can get up higher somewhere else. That would be my initial thought. Oh, well, I can't go through this wall. Must go over it. Because I'm going on a bear hunt. Wait, that's a... No. Part of the problem I'm finding with Ooh. I do have a slight issue with this background music in that every now and then it'll try and do a, th a part of the music sounds like one of these things charging up. So it confuses me. It's like, oh, have I accidentally somehow managed to walk into a, a laser or something and created one of these pathways somehow? But no, it's just the background music confusing me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I do need to go over a fence. Just the wrong side of the fence. So that goes there. Connector. Connect to one. Connect to two. Connect. Aha, victory for the Dark Lord. Yeah. Thank you, T-Block. You will soon allow me to access 
an area that isn't dilapidated Greek ruins. Or Roman ruins. You won't get me anywhere that isn't ruins, but you know. It's a nice to have a little bit of change of scenery. Right. A block. Oh no, it's another T block. My apologies. One little buzzer. Ooh. QR code. I think something is very wrong. If you'd seen what I'd seen at the edges of the world, you'd wonder if it wasn't stretching and bursting at the seams. Where have you been that's been able to see the edge of the world? I mean, as far as when I tried to go to the edge of the world, I had Elohim yell at me about words. You know, I see something like this, and my first thought is, I wonder if there's anything up there I need to shoot a laser at because of that earlier puzzle. The answer is, probably not. Laser. Connector. Connect. Ah! This is what I was talking about with your timing puzzle. I need to connect it just long enough, but that's going to get in the way, I think. So, we take our box. I wonder what uh, effect this will have on poor little old me. I'm guessing the answer is nothing good. That's the solution. So, I'm going to collect this little T block. Uh, yeah, T block, I mean. Interesting. So if I got through here by other means, I could use this to climb back out again. It does try and stop you from completely stupiding yourself. Right. Now I've decided I want to know what uh, effect being hit by this will have on me. So come on, Wheatley, do your worst. Okay, its worst is knock me away. That's worth remembering. You stay over there. So a little zappy Wheatley over there doesn't kill me straight away. I would assume that the damage accumulates. So if I stay there for too long, it'll kill me. But a little bit of knockback, a little bit of zappy do. L block, here thou art. You know you mustn't cross the streams. So let's call back to earlier level. That thunder is very loud. Might just be my earphones. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. Bear with me, viewers. Thank you. Oh, righty room. So, red laser pointing at wall. And red receptacle over here. Ah, there we are. I was wondering where the, uh, the lasery dudes were. Connect, connect, connect. No, not to that one. Just connect. Don't connect to that. Oh, well. Doesn't make any difference. Oh. Now I have to use myself as a shield. Stop it. Okay. Alright, so. Connect there. Connect there. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's put it up there. I suspect... Oh. <laughs> I suspect that was probably the solution now I think about it. Because it wants me to not cross the streams. I have a box. I'm now not crossing the streams, so... Apparently my what-the-hell attitude solved the puzzle for me. <laughs> oh well. Again, not exactly complicated, but I'm wondering how many more don't cross the streams like puzzles we're going to get. Don't there still an exit? Where's it go? Oh, it must be over here. There we are, hidden away in a corner where it wasn't immediately obvious until you were on top of it. Thanks, game! Right, I'm guessing that's all of the... all the puzzles in the area? Probably is, because this is beeping at me again. Let's see what he says. Attention, you've received a reply to your user support ticket. Display reply? Well, what else are we going to do? <laughs> Okie dokie. An account certification program diagnostic has been performed and no errors reported. Have you completed the standard troubleshooting procedures? Delete existing user account. Create a new admin account. Email the network administrator. Well, I don't want to delete my account. And I don't want to create a new one. So let's let's just let's, let's let's see what happens if in order to prevent an access access, I'll take it. Can we go off? Yes, I would like to. Pre your issues with denial will be appended to your user profile. <laughs> Further attempts to overwrite if you can be logged. You will receive a notification if your information is required. 
Okay, so I think any of the uh, the issues I any of the attempts I made there would have resulted in the same thing. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I read all these before, didn't I? What's this one? Yeah, extended lifespan was the supercomputer. AI citizenship was. Are robots people, or are whales people, or are people we whales, or robots, or potatoes? I don't know. And Athena was questioning the need for puzzles. Ah, righty roo. So another star over here that I I'm not going to go finding because I can't be asked. Moving on. Oh, I've done everything for area B. Uh, should I do some more puzzles? Let's see what's in six first. So it looks like that will give me somewhere for area C. A couple of parts to get up through level one. Hmm. Uh, or I could go look at the next area. Let's get all the pieces for level one before we move on to area B. Yeah, this... Long ago, oh, hello, I hello. shaped these lands according to the purpose of the hidden words. Thus, all things have meaning, where before was only chaos. Know that, and have faith. So if all things have purpose, what is the purpose of all of these statues not having heads? No answer? Shouldn't be surprised, I'm pretty sure you don't talk back to me anyway. Right, beep boop. LOL dot evil. Okie dokie. From person to person, subject lol. Ever since we moved to the new site, I feel funny. No, not in that way. Just, I feel like I'm about to start ran start laughing at random. It's probably shock, right? An inability to deal with reality? Or maybe it's just that we're working in this insane place with this insane technology and this insane project, and so I feel like a genuine mad scientist. To be fair, mad science is hilarious. Stand aside, mortals who will create life by the power of science. It doesn't sound like me now. Uh, I mentioned this to Alex, and she got me a pair of fake glasses. You can't be a mad scientist without glasses, she said. Even Ian Malcolm had glasses. And I pointed at EL and said, Life uh, finds a way. I can't do a uh, any impression, let alone Ian Malcolm from... Well, Jeff Goldblum from uh, Jurassic Park. Maybe you had to be there. I kind of ruined the punchline of that joke by talking at random. Anyway... Uh, any any email sent from this address are going to be considered confidential. Sharing or forwarding without permission may result in prosecution by the enraged spirit of Jeff Goldblum. And if there's one thing you don't want, you do not want to be haunted by the enraged spirit of Jeff Goldblum. Is it Blum or Bloom? I don't know. I've heard both. Never mind. Cicero. Txt. Shall the industrious, hus industrious husbandman then plant trees, the fruit of which he shall never see? And shall not the great man found laws, institution, and a republic? What does the procreation of children imply, and our care to continue our names, our adoptions, and our scrupulous exactness in drawing up wills, and inscriptions on monuments, and... I don't know that word again. Panegyric? Panegyric. And that word. But that our thoughts run on futurity. Cannot retrieve something. What do you imagine, then, that so many and such great men of our Republic, who have sacrificed their lives for its good, expected? Do you believe that they thought their name should not continue beyond their lives? None ever encountered death for their country, but under a firm persuasion of immortality. Themisto... I am really going to struggle with a lot of these words. <laughs> I consider myself relatively well-learned, and I'm just getting words put in front of me, just going, pronounce that. Um... Them... Themistolus? Themistolus? Might have lived at ease. Some might. Oh, for bloody hell. Epaninondas. Ep? Epaminondas. Epaminondas. That guy. And not to look abroad and among the ancients for instances, so might I myself. But somehow or other, there clings to our mind a certain presage of future ages. And this both exists most firmly and appears most clearly in men of the loftiest genius and greatest souls. Take away this, and who would be so mad as to spend his life amid toils and dangers? Cool. Chatbots! 
Chatbots are coming increasingly sophisticated. True, but hardly relevant to this discussion. You sure? How do you know that I'm not a bot? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. Honestly, how would you know? Haha, <laughs> troll. I'm not a troll. Yeah, right. Is there anything I've written so far that could not be written by a bot? I respond to simple insults like ridiculous and troll with very basic negations. And I detected that none of you use proper orth or I'm doing it again. Orth orthography. And so I avoided capitalization. What's the capital of France? Paris. Even the simplest script could pull up that info from the net. What's the capital of Croatia? Zagreb. Okay, she's a bot. Lol. I'm not a bot. I'm a European. We learn such things in school. I've seen you in this chat room many times. Bots can't participate in discussions. At best, they can interject random comments. Sam is right. Stop trolling. Uh, vegan warrior. Sam is a bot. Who? The joke being that Sam Schwartz is a bot and nobody noticed. Or more accurately, Nigel Pajamas noticed and Vegan Warrior didn't. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that joke. It was fairly <laughs> self-evident from the context. Right ho. Let's see. So if I want to get to level one, this one. In we do. Door too far. Again, so what is the purpose of those? It's like someone built alcoves on an area that may once have had a second floor, but again, it's like they're windows and stuff, they've been bricked up. Which makes sense if you're looking at uh, something like, you know, the Tudor area building where they had a window tax. Um, for those who are unaware of this particular phenomenon. So, in order to pay less tax, people would literally put brick up their windows. So, you know, you get less light, but you, you know, had more money. More painting. Ah, oh, look. Another little Wheatley over there. Lots of windows over here. Red laser. A council seeker. A door. Red laser. Okay, so we're going to need to find something to connect those two together. Oh, and I found something to connect those two together. So, jammer over there. Nothing through this area here, as far as I can tell. Select. I do like how vague the area selection is, so I pointed that, but I don't need to be pointed right at it to connect it. He says, failing to connect it. The selection's got a reasonable uh, area you can choose from. Now I'm over here. So I can get this jammer. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to need to bring that through with me, but I'm going to leave it there for now, just in case there's another area I need to go to. So there's another thingy over there I can jam. Yes, I can jam it. Yeah, so I've got a red thing over there. Hmm, I'm not going to be able to connect them from where I am now. Just double check, that's not a... Am I running around in circles? I'm running around in circles. Righty-ho. Jam. Okay, and that got me a box. What do I do with a box? Let's run over here, see what I can find. I can use the box to stop Wheatley. Stay there. Alright. I mean, the other option is I can use the box to put this on to get a higher connection, but I don't think I'm going to need to do that. What I think I need to do. Assuming I can remember the layout of this particular area correctly from just running around it now. I use that to go back through here. Uh, oh, I wonder, can I get. Oh, 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 oh. I think I need to go back. 
to I can connect both of those together so I suspect I'm going to need the freedom to pass through all of these doors If I jam that, I'm going to need this to connect to there, to connect to that, and I need this jammer so I can get through the one door that I can't reach with the other lasers. But as you could hear from the uh, the timer there, there was quite a long time these needed to be connected before the the uh, the doors would open. So I had to make sure Wheatley was just the right place to not get in the way. Eh. God damn it! <laughs> okay. A door too far indeed. Um, okay. I know what I need to do. I need to go back over here. Select this. Select that. Select that. Door open. Jammer. Jammer from the inside. So I can reconnect these. So I can go through this door, take my jammer with me. Go through all the other doors. And jam. This one. I just wonder why they've even bothered putting that there, because there's absolutely no way in hell I can see anyone connecting those two things together. This is another one of those things where somewhere up high, hidden in a tree, there's another tripod that uh, you somehow use to collect a secret star somewhere. Maybe it's just a red herring. They put it there so you're looking at the lasers, forgetting about the jammer do you had in the first place. But, doesn't really matter. Okie dokie. So. We've done 20 minutes. And there's absolutely no telling how long any one of these puzzles will take, because it, it counts on... Well, some of them being tutorial levels you can walk in and walk straight out of. Some of them require me not being an idiot. You know, that's a quite a mighty variable we've got there. So, I'll leave it at that for now. So next time I'll collect that little red zigzaggy piece over there, and we may as well venture up the Tower of Death. Alright, bye.